Welcome back my friends. In this video I'm going to give you some more tips and tricks on bullet journaling and I'm going to announce the winner of my last month's giveaway. She chose my theme and I'll do a flip through so you can see how my March journal turned out. Let's launch this reseller Robo. <laughs> Welcome back my friends to Reseller Robo. My name is Beth Ann and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Amazon. And the way I keep organized is by bullet journaling. And if you don't know what a bullet journal is, it's simply a planner that you make yourself custom made to your needs for your business and your home life. So if you've ever bought a planner and you've left pages empty because they just don't pertain to your situation, or you've wished that they had some pages included that weren't there, and sometimes you might find yourself actually gluing or inserting pages of your own, bullet journaling may be for you. Also, if you're juggling two jobs, lots of kids, if you're someone who makes lists in different places and you have trouble keeping track, you have trouble uh, keeping your train of thought from one room to another, bullet journaling may be for you. It'll help you get organized, meet those goals. I'm gonna link right now in the upper right hand corner a link to my bullet journal playlist and I really encourage you if you haven't been here before to take a look at that playlist and see some of my past bullet journals for the last year and a half. Um, some of them are quite different. Every month I change something in my bullet journal because things in my life change, right? And so I don't want to record the same things every single month and I throw in a theme just to keep myself motivated. So go back and take a look at those and see how they change. So speaking of change, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about the changes that I've made this month. So the spreads that I put in the very beginning of the month pretty much remain the same, but my daily spread looks a lot different. This time I put a schedule on the left hand corner with different times during the day. Now I did this for a reason. Some of you have seen my little schedule here that I wrote on a whiteboard. And if you look at that date, that's December 14th, 2020. That's the last time that I wrote a schedule down for myself. So obviously that is not actually working. I'm not sticking to it. So I'm going to be putting all of the times here, keeping tracks. And as you see the flip through today, you'll see that I already have some things scheduled like a vet appointment or a doctor's appointment. I'm going to be babysitting next week. I believe that's also in here. So because I'm using this whole left side for a schedule, I no longer have room for daily reflections, gratitude, other things that I was tracking. I did leave a space for my menu and my tasks though. So to solve that problem, one of the spreads at the beginning of the month is my daily reflections. And I have to be honest with you, the last time I did this and put all of my reflections on one page, I kept forgetting to fill it out every day. So I'm going to try to make a conscious effort to do so. But I really wanted the space to put the schedule in the daily page. And there is actually an advantage to having all the reflections on one page because I can look at a glance and see what I did, what I thought from day to day instead of having to flip from page to page. Now, something that I'm doing this month that I do every few months is I call the big push and March is going to be my big push. And what that means to me is I'm going to be writing more goals down on a daily basis than I can possibly accomplish. And you're like, Beth, why would you do such a thing to yourself? It's gonna stress you out. Yeah, and it probably will. But I do this every few months to myself. The reason I do that is the last three months I've been packing, moving and unpacking and a lot of things have been neglected in my home and business. So I'm just gonna try to cram as much into March as I possibly can to try to get myself moving in the direction of accomplishing these goals. So one of the things that I changed a couple of months ago is I started adding weekly pages and I did them about a year ago and I didn't like them but now that I own a home and I have so many things to do every month to keep this house clean and well maintained I decided I would try it again and it's working really well so I take everything I need to do for my home in one month and I split it up into four or five weeks so this is my week one so I need to do the air, change the air filters, wash out the waste baskets, I need to clean out the outdoor lockers, and I need to sweep once a week. So then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and put eBay and YouTube on here. So 
Every week I want to try to list 50 listings on eBay. And one of the things that I neglected for the last three months is inventorying, you know, counting my inventory, making sure everything is listed. If it's not, I need to get it listed, right? So um, the first week of March, I'm going to inventory um, shelves M and N. And then the next week I'll inventory O and P. And you'll see that on the flip through. Another thing that I've been doing, I've talked about, is I've been looking at my photos and things that were photographed a long time ago, um, low quality photos, like from the very beginning. I'm pulling five items a week out of my inventory and I'm taking about three or four new photographs. And I'm actually going to be doing a live stream or a video on that process. For YouTube, I've really uh, stepped it up a little bit here. Um, I've written down already the first two videos that I need to upload the first week. I have a place here to write down how many subscribers I have. And by the way, thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, all you have to do is hit the rowboat in the bottom right hand corner of your screen right now or anytime during the video and also hit the bell and then you'll know when I'm live or upload a video. But it has a place for me to record my amount of subs and then my goal um, each day is to attend one live stream and I've been doing that already this month and I'll show you right here see I've been checking off one live stream a day the reason I want to attend one live stream a day and I don't mean being on camera but I want to be in the chat is I want to meet other people so that I can network with other people um, just in the past week alone I've met like five new people and um, found their channels very interesting and also it gives them a chance to subscribe to me so we all win in that situation so even if I only go into a live stream for five or ten minutes I still check it off because I do interact with people while I'm there. Now one of the things I'm doing different this month and I'm real excited about, I don't know where I came up with this idea, but I'm calling it the two words a day and so each day I have picked two words to focus on. So on the first it's love everyone, um, count blessings, sing songs, shout out loud, be smart, see clearly you get the idea just two words and then what i want to do with those two words in addition to reflecting on them myself is i want to make an instagram post that is about those two words and my goal is to post one every day and i don't know if i'll do it but i have a place on each day's uh, page it says ig that's what that's for when you see it on the flip through and again, I want to encourage you, bullet journal can be a little bit overwhelming setting it up, but once you get into a, a routine of doing it, I usually start on the 20th of the month, but because we had the big freeze here in Texas and we were without electricity, we had no TV, you know, no radio. So I actually started March um, on the 15th of the month and I was finished by the 21st. So it's always feels good to get your next month, you know, format already laid out and then um, I guess it was last night I went and I just filled everything in that needed to be filled in for the thrip, flip through. I'm having trouble talking and I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm not drinking wine today like I was the other day. But I really want to um, encourage you guys, if you have any questions about bullet journaling, I will be glad to help you. Just leave me a comment below. You can also message me on Facebook at Reseller Robo, and you can direct message me on Instagram at Reseller underscore Rowboat. Now, I'd like to congratulate Valerie Chick Picker on winning last month's giveaway. She won a set of colored pencils, and Valerie, those are coming your way soon. And the way she won was she picked my theme for the month. And I have to be honest with you, I did not want Valerie to win. I am not crazy about the theme she picked, but... And because I finished this bullet journal so early, I wasn't able to get very creative. I just had to basically put pictures um, of this theme in my bullet journal. And her theme that she chose was punk rock. So thank you, Valerie. I chose a punk rock song to go with the flip through. And I really appreciate it. If you would go to Valerie's channel, I'm going to link it right now in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Go to Valerie's channel and subscribe to her and don't forget the bell. So with that being said, let's take a look at this month's bullet journal flip through. And if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would share it with others and give it a thumbs up.